Hello everyone, welcome to the Innovation Lab. All right guys, I am currently working on this uh, universal battery charging system or DC power supply. And I wanted to give you guys a sneak peek to the project, all the awesome uh, tests and setup that we have going on here. Also, that will allow you guys to chime in, to give me your input, to give me your feedback on the process or what you guys would like to see when we release the full tutorial video. Before we get started guys, once again, I wanna thank you guys for supporting our channel. Thank you for all your wonderful feedback. And I know that you guys have requested a lot of uh, videos and topics, but the thing is that the videos that we make take a long time to produce because they involve building something and capturing it on video and testing it and making sure everything works. Then in the end, it takes forever to edit all those videos and put everything together. All right guys, so what I have decided to do is to make a weekly periodic update video for you guys. And I'm gonna be calling that our lab updates. So that way you guys get to tune in every Sunday and you guys get to see what we are working on. And you guys get to give us your feedback, give us your opinion, give us uh, your suggestions. All right guys, if we keep talking, we're not gonna get anything done. So let's get right into it. All right. So this is the test setup that we have for testing our universal uh, battery charging system or DC power supply, which is this guy right here. And one thing I would like to mention is that I have not invented anything new here. So I'm not going to take any credit for anything on this system. All I am doing is to bring uh, different products together to use them to build an affordable system. And that is my goal. So the only thing I would take credit for here would be the system design and the system enclosure because I had to design it and 3D print it. And that took a whole lot of effort and lots and lots of measurements. Some parts I had to print more than three times to be able to get things to fit properly. I am using this uh, constant current and constant voltage DC power supply that I've used to make multiple videos on my channel showing you guys how to do different things. So that converter is inside this unit. Uh, this units come with this uh, small fan, so I have replaced it with a bigger fan to ensure a better cooling for the system. And I know that some of the difficulties that some of us have talked about with these converters is the fact that you have to use like a precision screwdriver to adjust the output voltage or uh, output current of the unit. So I added these adjustment knobs to make it easier for us to be able to adjust the output voltage of the DC power supply. As you guys can see here, or the uh, charging current, if I'm using it to charge a battery system, or if I'm using it as a DC power supply, I can use this to set the output current limit of the DC power supply. Yeah, so this is what we have done in a nutshell. One more a function that I added is the output enable switch. So that way, um, when you connect your power supply uh, as you guys can see here, we have our 36 volts coming in from the server power supplies over there and it makes it into the charger or DC power supply, but we don't have any output. So this is a safety feature that I've added to give the user the opportunity to configure the uh, power supply system the way they want it. You can configure your output voltage and see it on the power monitor and you can dial down the uh, output current or set it where you want it before you now enable the system. So overall, my goal here is to build a user-friendly system that will make it more convenient and also help the system perform better. All right, so let's go ahead and dial up the output voltage to the max. Then we enable the output so we can see this unit in action. All right, so the output is almost at 95 volts. So the one thing I'll mention here, so we don't have questions as I enable the output, is that the output enable function, as I talked about, uses a solid state relay, and that solid state relay inside the unit has a forward voltage drop of about a volt. So that's why when I enable the output, you guys may see a different voltage here than what is displayed on our Fluke DMM over here. All right. So as you guys can see, we have almost 95 volts displayed at the uh, digital power monitor and we have 94 volts on our DMM and we're delivering a current of 2.33 amps going to our load. All right, guys, that's impressive. 
All right, guys, the next test we're going to conduct is to make sure that the bigger fan is going to function since we replace the smaller fan here that comes with the converter with this bigger fan here. So and that test is something we conduct with a load applied. So let's go ahead and leave the converter to warm up a little bit to make sure that the converter board is going to be able to drive this fan properly. All right. To be able to test the cooling efficiency of the bigger fan that we installed on the system, I had to apply a heavier load on the system as you guys can see here. And looking at the output voltage and the delivered current that goes to the load. So the biggest observation I'm making at this point is that for some reason the registered value of the output current and delivered output power that we're measuring on the digital power monitor is not matching up with the values that we're calculating looking at our output current clamp and our output voltage measurement right here. And this is something that I have to spend some time to troubleshoot to figure out uh, why that is happening. My initial thought was that it could be as a result of some power dissipation on the uh, solid state relay that we're using to switch the output power. But when I made the calculation, realistically, the solid state relay should only be dissipating about 20 watts or less. So I need to look at what's happening and why this uh, power monitor is not recording the right values. All right, guys, that's it for this video. And our goal was really to turn on the system. We apply some load. We make sure that the features that we added to this unit is actually working, which they are. I am impressed. So in the next update video, which is going to be about a week from now, what we're hoping to accomplish is to use this system to test the universal battery charging concept. So our goal will be to use this system to charge a 12 volts, 24 volts, 48 volts, or possibly a 60 volt battery system. So that way we can fully demonstrate what we mean by this system being a universal battery charging system. All right, my friends, I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the Innovation Lab so you get notified as we're releasing all these videos. All right, my friends, I'll see you guys in the next video.